you yesterday that Arsenal played its first unofficial game in the preseason that was behind closed doors at London Conley. It was Arsenal entertaining Watford and that game ended 1-1 in favor of no one. In other words, it ended in a stalemate and Arsenal saw Marquinhos being on target and obviously Watford were the first to put the ball at the back of the net to really force Arsenal into a mode of really equalizing. Very many Arsenal fans were really uh, on pressure because after 45 minutes, Ateta who had fielded a fast heavy team squad took it off and obviously made nine changes and it was so much wild and surprising that the, the young side went ahead and obviously pushed Watford to the to the nerves and obviously they found themselves in a, in a position of really securing just one goal coming in from Aquino. So welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokani David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rokan David is my name and continue to subscribe to this channel guys because we want to hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of this month and the response is really positive and i really want to thank god to reward i want i really want to thank god for you guys and reward you accordingly even allah may him reward the muslim subscribers that we get on this channel and those that keep watching us and keep this channel going you know yesterday was a very huge day at london conley Mikel Ateta named the following starting 11. With absentia of <coughs> Matt Turner and uh, Matt Turner and uh, Abram Ramsdale or Conco played in goal, right? Then Ben White, Gabriel Magales, Rob Holding, Cedric Soares, Lewis, Selke, Lisandro, Trossard, Res Nelson, Mauro Bendeira, then Gabio Jesus and Edin Ketia. That was the starting 11 of Arsenal. Meeting that Okonko was in goal. Ben White plays that the right back. Gabriel played Gabio Magales. We mean left sided centre back. Rob Holding, right sided centre back. Cedric Soares played as a left back. Then Mels Lewis and uh, Leandro Trossard plus Mauro Bendiera played in the midfield three. Then Leandro Trossard played off the right attacking side of the midfield. Jesus and Edin Ketia were playing onto the three positions of the attack, meaning that Jesus was leading the line, Edin Ketia was playing wide left, and Leandro Trossard was playing <coughs> wide right. Now, the game went on for so long, and Arsenal couldn't really find a goal, but um, Edin Ketia missed out on a couple. Gabio Jesus missed out. Um, Leandro Trossard also tried to create some magic, but it looks like they are all closed in. And uh, towards the end of the first half, Watford found themselves on target, and obviously they found themselves in a situation of obviously breaking the dreadlock through Ismail Kone, and he was on the score sheet at London Conley, and it ended 1 1. Now, at the beginning of the second half, the manager really made changes. He made <coughs> changes. James Hilson, Marquinhos came on, Mika Bireth, one of those strikers that Arsenal signed, I think, from Fulham and obviously loaned him to a Dutch side. Came on through and obviously played very well. Um, Amario Koza Dubri came in through. Jimmy Goa came in through. Jackie Henry Frankings came in through. Alex Kick came in through. Brock Norton came in through. Ethan Waneri, one of the most known to you guys. Uh, Ismail Olad Mohand, I love this one, he's really great. Roll Waters also came in through and Lino Chosa came in through. And guess what? When they came on through, in like 3-5 minutes of the field of play, they really had a very clear-cut chance that Mika Bireth put on target. And obviously the goalkeeper denied him and it couldn't, it couldn't count. But 10 minutes later, guess who gets us off the losing side or at least level to put them to level terms. It was Marquinhos who came through and obviously put that ball at the back of them. Talking about Marquinhos, guys, there is something special with Marquinhos and I think there is fire burning in his belly that is yet to be unleashed, right? Because when he was really playing in the academy team of, of the reserve team of Arsenal, he was scoring goals. His first competitive debut for Arsenal was against FC Zurich. He scored a goal and created an assist. That is Marquinhos for you. And uh, at Norwich, he also looked bright 
and he comes in back at Arsenal and it's all about Arsenal getting him what we call a proper loan. If I'm Arsenal, I look for a Premier League team to loan this guy because he's Premier League ready according to me. But according to the aims of Arsenal and the targets, he's not yet ready to really fulfill what exactly they want. But I really anticipate that he should be gotten what we call a Premier League move. To see to it that, he obviously goes ahead and obviously shines there. Maybe they can even send him to the to the Serie A, but that is not, sorry, Serie A or League One, but that is not helping. It's not helpful for me. I think Arsenal should find teams in the Premier League that are really willing to sign the player. So let's wait and see which team is going to go ahead and really take him on. But he came on through and leveled the game, and that game ended 1-1 in favor of no one. Now, allow me to throw you a little bit into the images that were captured by the website of Arsenal as they took on this Watford side at London Conley. So, that is Marquinhos, the goal scorer, doing the needful to fight for the ball and obviously stretch for it. That is Leandro Trossard, obviously the magician, <clears throat> trying to obviously make things happen, going past the players of Watford at the London Conley. This is Shoza Dobri. What is his name? Shoza Dobri. Very good, talented guy coming in from the Academy of Arsenal and he extended his contract and confirmed his stay at Arsenal on the same day with Nwaneri. This is Leandro Trossard skipping past a sliding centre-back of Watford at London Conley and obviously he just did injustice to him as he left him down and Leandro Trossard just went up of him. This is Nwaneri you know him. You know him. He's one of those that is really so much talented and he's putting in a lot of work at Arsenal and he said after his scholarship um, contract at Arsenal, he's going to sign a professional contract next year when he turns 17 at Arsenal. He's one of those players that are in the academy of Arsenal that are really coming in through with a lot of fire and you might see him really play more games this season as he only played I think one last season for us and especially in the Premier League when he made his debut against Brentford that game was 3-0 Ateta brought him on for some five minutes then there is another player for Arsenal from the academy player and this is Bruce Nelson trying to tussle it out with the Watford side as he shows his potential as to why Arsenal is going ahead to really offer him a new contract and he accepted it and has to prove to the manager that he's ready to get this to the levels. This is Marquinhos and is it Drobri trying to celebrate the goal that he had gone ahead to score that leveled the game. That is Marquinhos in there for you celebrating that goal. Then Mikel Ateta issuing what we call orders at the touchline and that's how he really was and he was really coaching his team to it that they really get a win over the side. So this is all about Watford and uh, Shuza Dobri trying to tussle it out with the Watford man and there comes the magician Gabriel Jesus <laughs> there for you to do the needful to see it that he gets himself in a situation he gets himself in a situation of doing the needful to see it that he creates magic at the Roland Conley as they took on the as they took on the Watford side there. Then Edin Ketia also was part of the magic for the first 45 minutes, but in the second half, Ketia, Jesus, we are really taken off. Ben White playing as a right back into that game, and obviously he tries to really show the money that I can play as a right back amidst the coming in with Julian Timber to come in through and obviously dislodge me for that position. Then Ben White in action trying to show his press resistance skills as he obviously finds himself in a situation of two of two against one that is a one v2 situation and he was really trying to really gain his composure and win it ateta again trying to obviously direct the players to see to it that they really play on the directions that's one here to give them and the plan he's planning to really hold his entire team on next season so that's what we had from london conley and your thoughts are welcome in the comment section below smash the like button comment and share if you're totally watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily now if at all you are not informed arsenal is going to be playing its first preseason game 
next week on Thursday as they take on Nuremberg down as they take on Nuremberg down in Germany that is Thursday 20 hours that's when this is going to happen that is Arsenal for you and after that um, 7 days later they'll play the MLS All Stars on the 20th of July then they play Man United on the 23rd of July. They'll play Barcelona on the 27th of July. 2nd of July, they'll play Monaco. And after that, they'll be getting ready for the Community Shield game against the Man City side that they're going to play at Wembley. Then, after that, they'll play their first game of the Premier League on the 12th of August. That is against Nottingham Forest. That's how things are really going to pan out for the Arsenal side. So, all you know is that Arsenal is ready for their preseason and wait and see what team is traveling to Nuremberg today because they're traveling to Nuremberg today and we're going to reveal to you who is there and who is traveling there for what and what. So, Rock and David remains my name. That was all about Arsenal 1, Watford 1 at the what? at the London Conley. So, what do you make about Marquinhos? Especially, let's talk about Marquinhos a lot because I see a player in him because scoring goals like this shows that he's really one of those players that has a lot of potential that Arsenal have to uplift to it that he gets himself where he deserves to be. Rock and David remains my name. I sign up for now. See you later and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God protect you abundantly. My Muslim viewers and subscribers, may Allah grant you the best of luck that you deserve and protect you well.